This tutorial concentrates on the synth structure of AD and shows you how to easily create sound sets. By switching off the RPS button and setting the patches to different MIDI channels, AD can be used as an 8 part multi timbral sound module. Sound sets can be composed of one to four layers. I'll load a sound set, Frank Falls, which uses all four layers. Each layer has its own synth engine, which means that all the parameters on every layer can be individually altered. The mute solo button allows you to isolate and accurately edit each single layer. To the left are each layer's volume and pan controls. The sound source for each layer is a key group, which is loaded from the library. We can also use the skip arrows to cycle through the key groups in the selected folder. Add is structured in a way that allows you to construct rich and complex sound sets very quickly. OK, now I start by loading the first patch of the sound set called Washing. I can save this layer as a file .sound. I'll reload the saved file on the next layer, giving us two identical layers. I can skip through the key groups until I find one that sounds good. I'll transpose the second layer an octave lower by changing its root note in the range section. This avoids unwanted aliasing noise. Now our bass sound set is ready. Let's put it on a MIDI clip set and hear what it sounds like. Now I can go back to sounds and add a drum patch, Noise Disco 8, and hear what they sound like together. If I solo the drum part, I can audition different sound sets with the skip arrows. Or I can stick with a sound set and change some of its individual components, such as the kick. Or the snare. Or the hi-hats. Now let's hear what it sounds like with the bass. Now we'll create a sound set that uses an LFO. I'll choose a patch in the tone category, Falafem. Solo and listen. In the scales page, I can alter its sensibility in relation to the velocity. In the LFO page, I'll first reduce the step resolution and sync the BPM to half that of the host. And in the target area, set the level of modulation and the filter cutoff. Now I'll start to draw the LFO waveform. Let's hear what this sounds like. Now I'm going to save this created layer as a sound. Then reload it onto another layer, giving me two identical sound layers. Now I can edit the LFO of the copied layer, for example, invert the waveform. And change the timber by choosing another key group. Hmm, not bad, but still need some editing on the LFO. and alter the target settings. That's starting to sound better. Let's listen with the other patches. Now let's continue and create a final sound set, this time concentrating on the scales. In the scale section, you can set parameters in relation to the note and velocity. 
This can help to create a more realistic live performance. I'll open a synth, Yonder 2. Enter scales and alter the velocity to filter sensibility. Now I'll change the note to filter, making the filter cut off lower on the higher notes. Finally, change the note to pan. Making the pan modulate differently for different notes. Now I'll choose a clip for the sound in the RPS. Techno keys. Listen to it soloed. Listen to it all together. For a more detailed description of what each filter does, see the manual. Otherwise, just experiment and listen for what sounds good.